forestry students at UF are getting a first-hand lesson in the healing powers of nature. It helps to have a nearby forest, and UF owns the Austin Carey Forest between Gainesville and Waldo. Matt Cerna tagged along through the ashes today and joins us now from the UF newsroom. After witnessing the destructive power of fire and controlling it, now students are seeing how quickly a healthy forest can bounce back. Courtney Devinney takes part in controlled burns as a senior in UF School of Forestry Resources and Conservation. Devinney says she was born on Earth Day and her mom made her for this, appreciating the great outdoors. I like being outdoors because I think you get to like really see like what all the world has to offer. Um, you may get to study a lot um, about accounting and stuff like while you're inside and that might be interesting um, but like seeing how the world actually works um, is just something totally amazing. Her class is checking on the regrowth of 10 acres of the Austin Carey Forest which they burned down three weeks ago. These types of burns are part of conservation efforts to help reduce wildfire hazards. Palmetto is one of the native species here in Florida. It carries fire very well but it's unhealthy to allow a, a high buildup of that vegetation because then it tends to, when there is a wildfire, uh, increases the uh, impact of a uh, wildfire on neighboring homes, communities. During the burns, it can be quite a scare for the students around the flames, but once they see what comes next, it gives the students an upfront view of how amazing the forest is. It's quite astonishing. I remember the first time I was on a fire, I was, I was nervous because you were like, you see destruction, but then it regrows. Um, but it's so great to see, like, this is how the world's been working since way before we were here. Ludie Bond says the 10 acres will be fully grown in about a year, and then will be reburnt in three to four years to continue the cycle. The school students, faculty, and alumni have a spring gathering to celebrate their work and accomplishments. It's coming up in March, and online registration is now open. Reporting from the UF Newsroom, Matt Cerna, WUFT News.